This video is intended to be used in conjunction with the written instructions that came with your product. SNC Instruction Sheet 465-500. You can download this instruction sheet at snc.com. The VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter operates at high voltage. Failure to observe the precautions below will result in serious personal injury or death. Some of these precautions may differ from your company's operating procedures and rules. Where a discrepancy exists, follow your company's operating procedures and rules. The VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter is only intended for the protection of distribution transformers. The application must be within the ratings furnished for the equipment. Ratings are etched on the body of the VacuFuse interrupter. Prior to using the VacuFuse interrupter, be sure you have read and you understand the proper application and operating considerations sections of the written instructions, as there are some restrictions as to the size of the transformer the VacuFuse interrupter can be applied with. The VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter is a single-phase, cutout-mounted interrupter used to eliminate unnecessary permanent outages at an overhead distribution transformer. The VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter is ordered factory configured with a user-specified fuse link TCC curve, open interval time, and protection sequence reset time. Before beginning installation, familiarize yourself with the parts of the VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter. A complete SNC VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter for new installation consists of two shipping containers. They include the following. A single pole VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter, a cutout mounting and miscellaneous mounting hardware for securing the VacuFuse interrupter to the pole. Make the electrical connections to the cutout mounting. If aluminum conductors are used, be sure to wire brush them and apply a coating of oxidation inhibitor before inserting them into the connectors. Make sure the open-close lever is in the open position. The interrupter can be easily opened by pushing up on the curved indent in the lever. Insert the VacuFuse interrupter into the cutout mounting by carefully guiding the trunnion of the interrupter into the hinge end of the mounting. The mode selector lever can be in the up or down position depending on the desired behavior of the VacuFuse interrupter after closing, and its exact function will be discussed later in this video. Regardless of the position of the mode selector lever, the interrupter will operate in non-reclose, NR mode, for the first 10 seconds after closing and energizing. Non-reclose mode uses the instantaneous version of the interrupter's TCC curve. If a fault is present on the line within the first 10 seconds, the interrupter will open and lock open. Close the VacuFuse interrupter into its cutout mounting using a hook stick fitted with a distribution prong or using the straight prong of the SNC Talon handling tool. Insert the tool into the pull ring and swing the VacuFuse interrupter to within approximately 45 degrees of the fully closed position. With a firm grip on the hook stick, drive the VacuFuse interrupter closed with forward force. Maintain this force until the VacuFuse interrupter properly closes and latches into the cutout mounting. Disengage the tool from the pull ring, taking care not to pull the VacuFuse interrupter open. With the VacuFuse interrupter closed into the mounting, energize the transformer by pulling down on the open-close lever to close the VacuFuse interrupter. In the event the VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter is closed into fault current, the interrupter will immediately trip open. This will put the open-close lever out of sequence with the position indicator. The lever will indicate closed while the position indicator shows open. The lever can easily be put back into sequence by operating it into the open position by pushing up on the indent in the open-close lever. Before leaving the VacuFuse self-resetting interrupter, verify that the mode selector lever is in the desired position for the application. 
The mode selector lever has two positions. When the mode selector lever is up, the vacuum fuse interrupter is in the auto mode. When the mode selector lever is down, it is in the non-reclose mode, also known as NR mode. In the auto mode, the vacuum fuse interrupter will respond to fault current according to its preset fuse link TCC curve. The interrupter will behave according to the standard sequence of operation. It will open, wait a preset number of seconds, close once, and if the fault is still on the line, will reopen and lock open. If another fault occurs during its sequence reset time, the interrupter will immediately open and lock open. The vacuum fuse self-resetting interrupter will not drop out of the mounting and will remain upright in the cutout mounting. The vacuum fuse self-resetting interrupter is in the auto mode when the curved label on the side of the vacuum fuse interrupter's housing is fully covered. In the NR mode, the vacuum fuse interrupter will operate using the instantaneous curve. The interrupter will open and lock open and not attempt to reclose if a fault occurs while NR mode is selected. The vacuum fuse self-resetting interrupter is in the NR mode when the red line on the lever matches up with the red line on the base of the interrupter's housing. The tag clip on the mode selector lever is a convenient place to tag out the vacuum fuse self-resetting interrupter. A tag can also be applied to the open-close lever when system practices require it. There are two LED indicators on the base of the vacuum fuse interrupter. The health indicator LED is white and indicates the health state of the interrupter. When the interrupter is powered, the LED will flash white at a 30 second interval to indicate a healthy condition. If the interrupter is in an unhealthy state, the white LED will fast blink at a one second interval. If the LED is off, that indicates the mode selector lever is down or the vacuum fuse self-resetting interrupter is no longer powered. The non-reclose or NR LED is amber and will flash a two second interval when the vacuum fuse interrupter is in NR mode. When the interrupter is in the auto mode, the amber LED remains off. After responding to an overcurrent event, in either the auto or the NR mode, the vacuum fuse interrupter's vacuum interrupter will open and the position indicator will show a green target. When open, the vacuum fuse interrupter's sensing and display functions are isolated from line power and all LEDs will be inoperative after one minute. Warning, if the vacuum fuse interrupter is found in the open position, it is important to find the cause of the fault current before closing the interrupter. Closing the interrupter without repairing the fault could result in equipment damage, serious injury, or even death. After the cause of the fault has been determined and after any necessary repairs completed, the vacuum fuse self-resetting interrupter can be closed by pulling down on the open-close lever. If it is not already open, Open the vacuum interrupter by pushing up on the notch in the yellow open-close lever. Confirm the position indicator at the base of the vacuum fuse interrupter displays a green target. Attach an SNC talon handling tool or a distribution prong to a short hot stick. Using the straight prong of the talon tool or a distribution prong, pull the pull ring forward until the vacuum fuse interrupter disengages from the closed into cutout mounting position. A swift, firm pull will be required. The vacuum fuse interrupter can be removed from the cutout mounting using gloved hands. We hope you have found this video informative. If you have any questions, please visit our website at snc.com.